think Don and James uh, agree on many points. We're in the middle of a severe recession that's likely to last for a long time. New York entered the recession later than many other states. And so far, the rise in the unemployment rate and the declines in the private sector haven't been as severe in New York as they have been in the rest of the nation, or the nation as a whole. And that federal fiscal relief has dampened the decline in state spending in the nation and in New York. I think the biggest question these presentations raise is what will happen to state and local spending and employment over the rest of the recession. And we're right now in the middle of the recession, so a lot can still happen. Don found that state and local spending, um, state and local employment continued to grow for the first eight months of the recession, a finding that has received quite a bit of press. Um, State and local spend employment began to decline in August of 2008, and it's dropped very suddenly during the past few months, as Don has pointed out. So what will happen next? Don's comparison of the change in state and local government employment in the current recession to changes in employment in previous recessions make the current recession look, look much worse than previous recessions. And his tables in slides, in slides three and four are worth giving some attention. They're a little hard to understand if you look at them quickly, but I think they, they bear some, some severe uh, looking at. And with the exception of the 1980 recession, when Reagan's 1981 budget made severe cuts in funding to state and local governments, Don's charts show that state and local government employment has never dropped below its pre-recession level. Don's data show that now, state and local employment is already near their pre-recession levels, and the recession is far from over. So I agree with him that we're probably still in the early phases of state and local employment cuts. I think that uh, things are, are going to get worse. As we focus today on human capital, we must think about how to prevent a short-term problem from becoming a long-term problem. In the short term, the recession is causing unemployment or idle human capital. Involuntary idleness can cause human capital, capital to deteriorate as people don't keep their skills fresh and uh, probably more important is they lose confidence. Also in the short term, the recession is cutting funding for education, which interferes with the creation of human capital. And as, as James just pointed out, the unemployment problem is particularly severe for blacks whose position had been improving. So I think that it's important that education at all levels be given priority and that we must devise ways to maintain spending on all levels of education to maintain its quality so the human capital of future generations doesn't suffer. And we must also maintain spending for higher education so that the adults who are forced into involuntary idleness will have the opportunity to go back to school and increase their human capital. And just in ending, perhaps the opportunity of for adults to go back to school is a bit of good news about their unemployment. Thank you. There are many other things on the agenda today.